number one, with the actual hijab in, in schools. Now, I, I was thinking about this, and I was like, well, you know, in certain armies, certain police forces, the women still have hijabs, but they're part of a uniform. So would it not be okay with, you know, um, consent of the, the, the child if they're, like, say they're 13, 14, or, or the age that they're, they're wearing their, I think it's puberty that they um, send them to make them wear the hijab, basically. Um, that they are then um, make it as part of a uniform that's open to all. So, you know, it's one colour, even if it's got a symbol on the side of it to represent that. It's a, you know, it, but it works within the frame that it is still part of a school uniform. Um, w would you have uh, an objection to that? Um, I don't, I mean, I don't think children should have religion in the schools being a force upon them in school system, right? And it's kind of like it, it turns the education system into a place where a certain ideology is being endorsed, especially if it's a government institution and now you're making a hijabi or a turban part of the uniform. You know what I mean? It would be having a hijab officially recognized as a, uni a part of the uniform would be like the same as being like, well, we have a uniform for everyone else, but this uniform is for people who want to have a cross in the middle of it. You know what I mean? Like, wrecking, like having... So people shouldn't have a turban either. They shouldn't have an official uniformed turban that they could wear. Oh, yeah, no, no. Yeah, of course, they shouldn't be able to have that. I think that schools should be allowed to decide if, like, they have, want to have hijabs and turbans. And it should a be public a school or a private school? Uh, if you come to India, like, there are different public schools and they have different rules. So, like, whatever the public school decides. Um, I think a public school, because if, if a public school wants to allow a job, it shouldn't have a uniform. Because if you have a uniform and then you have a version of it that has a hijab, then you are having officially the government officially recognizing your your religion as special. Do you know what I mean? Because uh, um, because I can't come in there and be like, hey, I want a you know I want a uniform that has a satanic symbol on it, and I want that to be recognized as the official part of the uniform you can like they go, they're going to be like nope sorry we're not going to give that uniform so like hey how come they're the you know magic friends gets them a special uniform and my magic friends doesn't get me a special uniform it's only because the government all, is all of a sudden recognizing the authority of your religion you know what i mean and i think the government shouldn't be in a position to be able to do that but what will happen if we then come to the sikhs like they have to have like long hair and if you don't allow allow them to like cover their head and then they will have real problems because of those long hairs well i mean if you want to ban the hijab you should ban the, you shouldn't allow that as well uh, okay yes but in, I want, in a uniform I, I, long skirts or short skirts so should a, a, a girl have to expose themselves or or, or should should there be a, a agreed length where where do you um resolve that and if a I man wants I, to wear a skirt a short skirt as part of his uniform uh, would he be allowed to do that you know, this is why I'm against uniforms as a whole, okay? But if you want to allow uniform, I think you should have um, uh, three options for as a uniform, like a trouser, a sh shorts, or skirts, uh, independent of your gender. Okay, so, sh okay. Well, well that's a, a middle ground on that. Okay, fine. So, now, what what age do you think people should be allowed to choose their religion or no religion i don't know i have to talk to i, I mean what age do you think the um do you think the education system should be thinking it should because choosing a religion technically you should be able to choose that even if you're five years old because if we say you shouldn't be able to choose that then in in order to enforce that we need a police at every household <laughs> and to, for the parents not to tell their kids that like islam is the right way or you know, like jesus is lord because we can't say like you can't introduce your child to religion because that will require so much involvement that is impossible you know what i mean like we can't make that illegal we're just saying the government shouldn't the, it's not we can't stop the parents to uh, from uh, from introducing their children to the religion we're just saying it can be backed by taxpayer money the government shouldn't be introducing children to religion. 
Okay, so then you should ban all religious education from schools also then. Um, religious education depends on if you're endorsing the religion or if you're just studying the religion. Because I think like within university, you could objectively, in a secular way, study religion without it being a propaganda for religion. So I think from, you know, you could re re understand the history of religion as long as the teacher is not like, like you could study Islam, Christianity, Judaism, as long as your teacher is not, not coming and endorsing any of them, you know what I mean? That should be allowed. In fact, that's helpful if you study religion. In fact, that, that creates the most number of atheists, apparently, <laughs> if, you, uh, if you study the history of religion. Um, I think, in, I think, yeah, go on. Gender identity. Like, what what age should like, people be able to decide their, their gender? I don't know. I don't know. I think you need to talk to experts. Okay. I mean, wait. Yeah, go on. Okay. Uh, I was asking that uh, in India, like uh, from class 1 to 12, class grade 1 to 12, standard 1 to 12, we have like these moral science books. And in these books, there are like, like uh, religious stories. So there will be like a Hindu story, a Muslim story, a Christian story, all the uh, and it will repeat like there were 12 stories for Hindu, for, for Muslim, for Sikh, uh, for Christian. And uh, there will be morals which der we derive from these stories. So should like, should like these books be there? Um, but it depends on the content. What are they trying to teach? Uh, basically, it's a story which tries to teach like modern values, like you should uh, be kind, be gentle, be honest right. and things like this. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, wait, is it is the context religious? Sorry, uh, uh, like like religious, like what? The story is religious, definitely, but they are not like oh. they are they they are promoting an an image like all religions are good and look what we have to offer. No, 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 religion. no, 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 no. That's an endorsement of religion by the government. Obviously, that shouldn't be allowed. By the way, when you okay. asked me, friendly Muslim, you said like by what age? By no age. Like there's. The government should at no point come in to like okay when it comes to the are you talking are you asking me about the law or what's moral okay because what i consider moral you you know an endorsement of any religion at all point at any point in time is wrong okay um when it comes uh, but you can't stop the parents parents from doing that to the children you can't stop them from doing that but the government should not endorse any religion at any time regardless of how old uh, the child is okay so you know, I'm, I'm, see with this uniform thing it, it gets me because i i would rather that if girls did have a standard uniform and let's just say and again from even a voting perspective that they did a survey of all the people attending that school and said all right fine for this Hindu section, do you would you like to wear a particular scarf that represents, you know, Hinduism if it's religious, uh, a hijab or 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 a, um, um, a a turban, for example, and make sure it's in the it's a standard color, it's part of the standard uniform. Why not uniform? Why not Satanism? Oh, if there are Satanists, then you could ask them what they would want to be represented with uh, a scarf that has a little Satanist a Satan symbol. Is that what you so, would like? Okay, I don't then know, we but could talk about it. So, so, so how many how many uniforms would you want? Like, the, the, wouldn't be a uniform. Like, then it wouldn't be a uniform anymore. Like, we would have thirty different standards for every religion. I, I, like, I don't think it's if the army basically the you're you're labeling. You know, you're then, you're introducing an environment where children come to the education system, and they see that the the number one identifying visually identify uh, visual way that people are segregated is by their religion you know what i mean like like for example your clothes uh we have like a uniform but we have different versions of clothes it's not based on the books that you like it's not based on the music that you like it's not based on your politics it's not based on your i don't know sports activities you're you're being into you're teaching children that the main identifying uh, feature uh, that that separates people from each other the major part of the identity that we have valued so much that we are visually separating uh, children apart based on it is religion but that wouldn't that be the same thing for the short skirt the the trousers and the long skirt you're uh, doing it by gender essentially no no i said like everybody like a boy wants to wear a skirt that should be also like first of all the short the long and short is available to boys and girls that could be based on the weather it could be like it's hot i don't want to wear a trouser 
um, I want to wear shorts or a skirt or it's cold. I want to cover my legs. It's based on the temperature. We're separating, we're separating children's based on their, um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I'm enjoying the conversation to be honest because I think these right. are challenging topics. So um, it, it's it's good to have. Um, I mean, I'm education. Stuck up like on the uh, uniform thing because the six like the six have long hair and they have to manage it. Like I can't tell the like institutions can't tell them that stop the keep that turban out for and get all your hair dirty. They can't get their cut their hair. But if you like start along with everyone, then you eventually you will have to allow the Marxist to like wear like a sickle and a hammer on his chest and colored in the school uniform. But I don't know where this could go. I mean, like I want to say, I want to say, why do we even have a uniform? I want to challenge the idea of a uniform as a whole, but that would make the um, conversation um, not very interesting, you know, because I'm against having uniforms. What do you guys think like about uniforms? School or like. Uh, in school or in like school. everywhere in school like but i want to like i th i think like children should be learned to should be taught individuality like to be to be seen as individuals to be able to express themselves through their clothes through their um taste or whatever like this is like giving them all the same clothes is like teaching them collectivism you know what i mean um, the purpose of the uniform, like from what I've heard, is to like tell the people that you are all equals and you are not going to judge each other by right. the quality of clothes by which they wear, like the quality of clothes. So they wear. my solution to that, my solution to that was to have a, a school, um, you know, the, like a, a school store, like as, where it, like a school closet area with like so many different variety of clothes. But you, that you could go choose from, but like that's it's limited to what the school offers, just so that you can't use classes or buy expensive clothes. Maybe I don't know. I don't know if that would be ideal. Like that's a I good see, idea, but then like you could argue the for purpose of, then. For, Yes, that what? that will defeat the purpose of your earlier argument that people yeah. will start clubbing by religion because if this happens, then Muslims will buy scarves uh, and uh, Sikhs will no, buy. No, that's like, that's fine because okay because like it. it it's a different from uniform because if you have it in the uniform, you're like letting know that the school is telling the school is telling you that this is teaching you that this is how we are separating you. Right? We're like we're defining we're defining your identity based on a religious identity. Okay, but when it comes to self-expression, okay, these are like the kids understand that this is not this this is how they are deciding to express themselves like this is not a message that we're getting from above that this is what matters this is their choice maybe it's wrong maybe maybe this is like i don't i don't find it cool i don't i don't like it maybe i don't want to associate with that you know what i mean but coming it from up from above and force up, uh, down like to the children is sending the wrong message but even when they, we allow hijabs and turbans in the school, we are not like enforcing it. We are telling them that if you want, you can wear it. If you don't want, then fine. Yeah, but like we're only doing that with religion, which is like yes. emphasizing that this is like if you want, um, if so, you're, the point of the uniform is to show, for example, you, you just said yourself, the point of the uniform is to show that you're not above or below or different. Yes. Everybody is going to be treated. Different. Well, if you all of a sudden the school is like accept religion, then it's defeating the purpose you're teaching people like the only way to get to set yourself apart from other people and not to not be equal with them the only way we have eliminated every way except religion so religion is the way for you to feel special to for you to feel unique for you to feel oh. different from other people for you to be part of a tribe that you instead of the human tribe the muslim tribe or the hindu tribe or the a Sikh tribe or the Christian tribe. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're, you're not only the uniform is to the purpose of uniform is to reduce tribalism, but by allowing one element where you could be tribal in it, you're actually increasing. You're, you're defeating the purpose, and you're making the religion tribe even stronger than all other forms of tribalism. Okay, at the school. Okay, so beef. I agree with that uh, school shop model because I think like it is like the best model that I've come across right now. But like I'll have to think about it. But what do you think about like head headbands? Like Hindus wear the sacred thread which I wear, and like Muslims, I don't. Muslims wear some tavis, and the Sikhs wear a, like a steel ring, like a steel kada around their hands. Do you think that should be allowed? 
Well, if the hijab is not allowed, none of that should be allowed. But let me, let me see what the friendly Muslim is saying because he wanted to say something. Oh, well. Sorry. So um, yeah. that's interesting points you, you made there. So at lunchtime, for example, um, they may not serve beef. Do you think they should, the, the dietary? See, my, my problem is that for the hours that you're at school, you don't stop being a Muslim. You know, you don't stop being a Hindu. And at lunchtime when you're playing together, people are still aware of the differences between each other. I, I don't understand what that piece of clothing prevents in a, say, in a sense. Um, that's my only, my only issue where I'm sort of confused at, as to, you know, for I haven't had six, seven hours that you're at school. We're nationalists what? and there's no separation, but you're still a Muslim. That person's still a Hindu. They still believe in maybe multiple gods and not eating beef. I still believe in halal and, and one god. That person believes in a triune god. That doesn't well, change I mean, within the hours. Okay, okay. So, well, let me, let me, so for, for example, let's say that you're a member of the uh, KKK, okay? And you're like, and you want to wear a uniform accordingly to school for that. And we're like, we're not going to let you. And you're like, well, you still know that I am a member, <laughs> even if I don't wear it. <laughs> like, if I, everybody knows me for that, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, so given that everybody already knows, well, why don't you just let me have my own specific uniform? <laughs> like, that's, um, that's an interesting point. All right, I've got to ponder that one. That's it, yeah. <laughs> you know, See, this is why I endorse these types of conversations that, you know, because they are thought provoking and we should have them. Yeah. So what, what do I do for a guy who's a KKK wants to come in in, in his uniform? What do we do then? But uh, yeah. Yeah. That's an interesting point. And, and if, if, if we say that, oh, but that's bad and we don't like it. So we don't want, we're not going to turn it into uniform. Well, what are we saying then? Is the government officially endorsing as Islam and Judaism and Hinduism uh, as good? Do you know what I mean? Like, because if you're saying we're not yes, allowing that because bad, so you're endorsing these because these are good. Like, so you're endorsing them. Mm. Yeah, but it could also be like Hinduism, Islam, and all these are acceptable, but the KK, KKK idea is like not acceptable. Yeah, that's another I mean, point, depending on what they're asking for. So, I mean, is, Islam is not, well, people what? could say like, well, I, it's not acceptable to me. Islam is not acceptable to me. Also, it's majority rules then. No, no, no it, uh, the government. Uh, yeah, but I the mean, government. The private schools the can do anything is, they want, but like the to the government, Islam and all these religions are acceptable, but KKK is not acceptable. Like how well, okay, well, argument? the government. Sh why? Why is the government deciding that Islam is acceptable? They're not in that position. They shouldn't be in that position to say Islam is acceptable, or Christianity is acceptable. That's a valid point too. Because, because to me, Islam is not acceptable at all. So why? Who? How, I am paying a tax. I am paying my tax. Government is supposed to represent me as a as a citizen. And I hate Islam, and the government is like, well, saying like, well, Islam is acceptable. I'm like, wait, who says so? Aren't you supposed to represent me? Who made you boss? Who, who? Why are you? Why is my government that's supposed to be representative of all the citizens all of a sudden saying that Islam is acceptable? This uniform, I've always found this uniform debate very like very difficult to have because there is just this is like just such a confusing debate. Like there is like no one answer. There is we have to always choose like the best between all the averages. Like every idea is average, and we have to choose the best between that average. Yeah. Also, like it becomes difficult with policemen as well. Like for but example, I think, policemen, uh, mm -hmm. I think policemen should be like allowed to have uniforms, and uh, like if if it comes to policemen, like they need to have a uniform. That's for sure. Like then there's no option of them not having a uniform. Should, not should your a police uniform. woman be able to wear the hijab, or a policeman wear to wear the turban? I think so. Yes, if it if okay. it's of that color, because okay, we don't stop they, like what what if they what if you can your policeman uh, have a pin that says I I voted for Trump? Should they be able like, to wear that? Uh, but policemen like they are subjects of the state and they are not supposed to pick sides in political battles and so I don't think okay. that that should be the case. Why why can the policeman that shows up right has be able to this not be able to display his political views but should be able to display his religious views 
well because when it comes to politics then civil servants are supposed to be like neutral in the political game they they should not play a pick sides when it comes to politics okay. that i support this party or that, that party but they can like express their religion and like uh can it, can it have a pen that says black lives matter uh yes i think it should have uh i think it should have as long as it is supporting a movement which asks for like uh, the rights of black people but if it like if it is like supporting the blm organization then it should not not be allowed um because like supporting well, black people and equality is like the fundamental of the american state some people argue that it, going against blm is actually alm which is all lives matter so then should there would be a conflict then because some people say there shouldn't be a black lives matter it should be an all lives matter so no, what is done there when it comes to black lives matter it def- it likes most of the people interpret it in this way that black lives matter black lives also matter when it comes to the this context american context when black people are Can being it... discriminated against then the black lives matter but, okay what about somebody sh- a police officer showing up with a kkk pin should they be allowed to wear that but that is against the uh, tenets of the like the american state discrimination is against the american state true 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 can the policeman wear a short skirt if he chooses to <laughs> <laughs> uh, i don't think that is that's possible but i don't know like oh, i think how about the... this how about can can they show a uh, show a uh, show up with a sign that says 911 never happened or something like that well that's like that is political move that is like not social like social uh, okay, but religion is also political to a mix in like if you come up with like okay so how would you feel how would you feel if your if a cop car shows up and on the side of the cop car ro- was written jesus is lord uh like i would object if it was written on the side of the car but if like the uh the officer was wearing a gold nail like necklace or something on which there was this badge then i would not feel offended but the car is like a different thing it's like an object with, which belongs to the government and different police officers use it so i don't think it should be there do you see like do would you see like if uh, let's say for example uh, um an ex muslim right, right. Uh, yes. in united states okay and an ex muslim woman for example who have been abused by i don't know her religious parents if if she calls the cops and the cop that shows up is a hijabi woman she would be uncomfortable <laughs> with the situation you know what i mean like would you guys say like i don't feel like i'm i'm i would be able to express what's happening here to this p- person maybe unfairly so but like do you see the problem or maybe like if it was like um i don't know like if somebody who's like left leaning anti religious if a cop showed up and they were wearing a you know cross uh, as a necklace they wouldn't feel like you know they wouldn't feel like they're being represented here by their government or being i just think like they're displaying something uh, their views unnecessarily they're, you're supposed to be representing the state okay you're supposed to be an unbiased uh, executioner of the law and then you're showing up here this so visibly displaying your biases and your ideology and your philosophy like you can't do that with anything else except religion right it just it just seems like religion has certain privileges that other ideologies don't enjoy yes i think that privilege should privilege should go away but like like religion is like much more important than certain ide- ideologies to people too yeah well like, what, how, what okay well okay what if uh, someone's veganism is more like why doesn't somebody said like well my veganism is so important to me uh, your religion is so important to you my veganism is so important to me why is your ideology get so much privileges in the government in the school system and in the court but my ideology yeah this is important to me too okay that, you know why is that why do not not get the all these privileges with my ideology but like if somebody is a vegan but that's religion is political to some extent but veganism is like totally political i think I mean what ideology is in political like religion like personal practice of religion is like not pol- political veganism like is, I... veganism could not be could be could be personal choice 
okay so if you are like wearing a uniform and not eating animals then it's okay but if you are like spreading veganism while like uh, wearing a uniform and spreading religion while like wearing a uniform then no. that's bad I, equally bad no 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 it's like it would be more like i mean i don't think for example a police is allowed to wear signs that shows that they're vegan or that they support veganism i don't think they're allowed to do that like in canada for example the police officers are not allowed to show on their uniforms that they're communists or they're a vegan or they're a capitalist or that they're i don't know they're game of thrones fans they're not allowed to do any of those things but they're allowed to show that they're sikh they're allowed to show that they're muslim all right so why are, why are these certain ideologies uh getting a privilege that the rest of us don't like are there are their ideas more special than our ideas it's just privileges these are just privileges if you'd like to send me your questions for me to answer during our q and a's become a patron if you would like to have a discussion with me live on air at the end of the q and a's become a youtube member link to both is in the description thank you for your support